what's up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you everything that you need to know about spatial computing so let's get into it spatial computing this is an emerging field that blends the physical and digital worlds allowing for a more immersive and interactive experience it leverages various technologies including augmented reality virtual reality mixed reality and the internet of things to create environments where digital objects interact with the physical world in real time and in this video we're going to talk about what spatial computing is its history key technologies applications benefits challenges and future trends all right, so exactly what is spatial computing? So spatial computing refers to the use of digital technology to enable interaction with the physical environment through the spatial mapping of objects and spaces. It allows digital and physical entities to coexist and interact seamlessly, enhancing the way we perceive and interact with the world around us. All right, so here are some of the key characteristics of spatial computing. So digital objects and information, they are integrated into the physical environment, which enhances our interaction with both. It allows for real time interaction and manipulation of digital and physical objects. We can create immersive experiences through AR, VR and MR technologies and spatial computing. It utilizes spatial awareness and mapping to understand and navigate the physical world. All right, so let's discuss the history of spatial computing real quick. So the concept of spatial computing, this has evolved over several decades, driven by advancements in computer science, graphics, and sensor technology. And here are some of the key milestones in the development of spatial computing. So back in the 60s, this was when the foundation of spatial computing was laid with the development of computer graphics and early virtual reality systems, such as Ivan Sutherland's Sword of Democles. Then in the 90s, we had the advent of augmented reality with applications like AR toolkit and the rise of 3D graphics and gaming and simulation. Going into the 2000s, this was the proliferation of smartphones with advanced sensors and cameras that enabled the development of AR applications like Pokemon Go. In the 2010s, this was the emergence of consumer grade VR headsets like Oculus Rift and HTC Vive, along with advancements in MR technologies such as Microsoft's HoloLens. And here we are in the 2020s, we're witnessing the integration of AI and IoT with spatial computing, leading to more sophisticated applications and the rise of the metaverse. All right, so let's talk about some of the key technologies in spatial computing. So spatial computing encompasses various technologies that work together to create immersive and interactive environments. And the key technologies include the following. So the first one is augmented reality. So AR, this overlays digital information and objects onto the real world, enhancing the user's perception and interaction with the environment. And examples include smartphone AR apps and AR glasses. And we have virtual reality. So virtual reality, this immerses users in a completely digital environment, blocking out the physical world and users that interact with the VR environment using headsets and motion controllers. We have what is called mixed reality. So MR, this combines elements of both AR and VR, allowing digital and physical objects to interact in real time. And MR headsets like the Microsoft HoloLens, this enables this interaction. Then we have the Internet of Things. So IoT devices that are equipped with sensors and connectivity, they can collect and exchange data with other devices and systems. And this data enhances the spatial computing experience by providing real-time information and control over physical physical objects. Next, there's computer vision. So computer vision technology, this enables machines to interpret and understand visual information from the physical world. It is essential for object recognition, spatial mapping and interaction in AR and MR applications. We have artificial intelligence. So AI algorithms, they enhance spatial computing by enabling intelligent decision making, personalization and adaptive interactions within the environment. And then we have spatial mapping. So spatial mapping this involves creating a digital representation of the physical environment, and it is crucial for accurate placement and interaction of digital objects in AR and MR applications. 
All right, next, let's talk about some applications of spatial computing. So spatial computing has a wide range of applications across various industries, enhancing productivity, education, entertainment, and much more. And some notable applications include the following. So it is used in healthcare. So spatial computing is revolutionizing healthcare with applications like AR-assisted surgeries, VR-based therapy, and MR-based medical training. And surgeons, they can use AR to visualize critical information during procedures, while VR provides immersive environments for mental health therapy. Another application where it's used is education and training. So spatial computing, this enhances learning experiences by providing interactive and immersive educational content. And students, they can explore historical sites in VR, conduct virtual science experiments, and engage in AR-based language learning. There's manufacturing and maintenance. So when manufacturing, spatial computing enables AR guided assembly, quality control and maintenance and workers, they can receive real time instructions and overlay schematics onto physical equipment for efficient troubleshooting and repairs. We have architecture and construction So architects and builders that use AR and MR to visualize and manipulate 3D models of buildings in the real world. And this aids in design validation, construction planning and client presentations. It's also used in retail and e-commerce. So retailers, they use AR to enhance the shopping experience by allowing customers to visualize products in their own environment before purchasing. And VR, this enables virtual showrooms and immersive shopping experiences. Then we have entertainment and gaming. So spatial computing is transforming the entertainment industry with AR games like Pokemon Go and VR experiences like Beat Saber. And it also enables immersive storytelling and interactive experiences and themes parks and museums. Then there's real estate. So real estate agents, they use VR to offer virtual property tours, allowing potential buyers to explore properties remotely and AR applications. This enables on-site visualization of property enhancements and interior designs. And then we have urban planning and smart cities. So spatial computing, this aids urban planners in visualizing and analyzing city infrastructure and IoT devices. They provide real-time data for efficient city management while AR applications, they enhance navigation and public information dissemination. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the benefits of spatial computing. So the adoption of spatial computing, this offers numerous benefits across various sectors. And some of the benefits are as follows. So we have enhanced user experiences. So spatial computing, this provides more engaging and intuitive interactions, enhancing user experience and satisfaction. We have improved productivity. So AR and MR applications, they streamline complex tasks, reduce errors and provide real-time information information, improving productivity in industries like manufacturing and healthcare. There's the benefit of cost savings. So virtual simulations and remote assistance, this reduces the need for physical prototypes, travel and on-site support leading to significant cost savings. There's better learning outcomes. So immersive and interactive educational content, this enhances understanding and retention leading to better learning outcomes. Another benefit is increased accessibility. So spatial computing, this provides new ways for people with disabilities to interact with the digital and physical world, enhancing accessibility and inclusion. And then we have innovative marketing. So AR and VR, they offer unique marketing opportunities, which allows brands to create memorable and interactive experiences for their customers. Now, despite its potential, spatial computing does face several challenges that need to be addressed. The first one is that of technical limitations. So the development of high quality AR, VR, and MR experiences requires advanced hardware and software, which can be costly and complex to produce. There's privacy and security. So spatial computing applications, they collect and process vast amounts of data, raising concerns about privacy and security. So ensuring data protection and user privacy, this is critical crucial. There's interoperability. So achieving seamless integration and interoperability between different spatial computing devices and platforms, this remains a challenge. Another challenge is user acceptance. So widespread adoption of spatial computing requires user acceptance and comfort with new technologies. So ensuring intuitive and user-friendly interfaces is essential. There's content creation. So creating high quality and engaging spatial computing content, this requires specialized skills and tools, posing a challenge for widespread adoption. And then there's regulatory and ethical considerations. So the use of spatial computing in areas like healthcare and urban planning 
learning. This raises regulatory and ethical considerations that do need to be addressed. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the future trends in spatial computing. So the future of spatial computing is promising with several trends that are shaping its development. The first is that of advancements in hardware. So continuous improvements in AR, VR, and MR hardware, including lighter and more comfortable headsets. This will enhance user experience and drive adoption. There's the integration with AI and IoT. So the integration of AI and IoT with spatial computing, this will enable more intelligent and adaptive adaptive environments, enhancing interaction and personalization. There's 5G connectivity. So the rollout of 5G networks, this will provide the high speed, low latency connectivity that is needed for seamless spatial computing experiences. We have the expansion of the metaverse. So the concept of the metaverse, which is a collective virtual shared space, this will expand offering new opportunities for social interaction, work and entertainment. There's enhanced remote collaboration. So spatial computing will transform remote collaboration by providing immersive virtual environments for meetings, training, and teamwork. There's greater focus on accessibility. So efforts to make spatial computing more accessible, this will increase, ensuring that people with disabilities can fully benefit from these technologies. And then there's an increased investment. So growing investment in spatial computing from tech giants and startups, this will drive innovation and accelerate the development of new applications. All right, so to wrap all of this up, Spatial computing is revolutionizing the way we interact with the world by seamlessly blending digital and physical environments through technologies like AR, VR, MR, and IoT. Spatial computing provides immersive and interactive experiences that enhance productivity, learning, entertainment, and much more. Now, while there are challenges to overcome, the benefits and potential applications of spatial computing are vast and far-reaching. And as technology continues to advance, spatial computing will will play an increasingly significant role in shaping our future, offering new ways to engage with the world and transforming various industries. And by understanding the key technologies, applications, benefits, and challenges of spatial computing, we can better appreciate its impact and potential. So whether you are a tech enthusiast, a business leader, or an everyday user, spatial computing will offer exciting possibilities that are poised to change the way we live, work, and play.